back to Gordon Jolly Park Day Special, everybody, with our next PlayStation game. And we're going to play the second one, the second edition of Jeopardy. Let's see how it goes. Let's go ahead and show the music, please. Thank you. There we go. And let's get ready to play. <laughs> That's my cat in the background. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Tournament of Champions. One player. From the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy! Hi, and welcome to Jeopardy's Tournament of Champions. You know, only the very best players are invited to participate in our tournament. So congratulations to each of you. Let's get started. Here are the categories for the Jeopardy round. The importance of being Ernie. World cities. You could put an eye out. The eyes have it. Murder, she wrote. And just to finish things off, music. Player one, your turn. The importance of being Ernie 100. He was Mikhail in Mikhail's Navy. Who is Ernest Borgnine? Player one. You got it. This zany TV comedian's antics began with shows like Deadline for Dinner and It's Time for Ernie. Who is Ernie Kovacs? Player one. That's right. Few know that this revolutionary who helped Castro had the real first name, Ernesto. Player three? Ernesto Che Guevara de la Serna. You got it. <coughs> Player three, what will it be? You could put an eye out for 100, Alex. Traditionally in Japan, these implements are used by suicidal samurai, but not at the table. What are knives? Player one? That's right. Player one? 19th century New Bedford, Massachusetts blacksmith Lewis Temple developed the toggle type of this whaling weapon. What is a harpoon? Player one. Right you are. Hitting the bullseye in pub games using these brings you 50 points. What are darts? Player one. Definitely. When this long straight fire iron is red hot, it's not a game. What is a poker? Player one. That's it. 
a large-eyed type of needle used to mend holes. Player three. A darning needle. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes. If you would, player three. The eyes have it. For 100. A Babylonian goddess of love and fertility. Or a movie bomb for Warren Beatty and Dustin Hoffman. What is Ishtar? Player one. Right you are. Your choice, player one. It'll get your motor running. Your car's motor, that is. What is the ignition? Player one. Yes. This legal term describes a person who leaves no will at the time of death. Player one. What is invalid? No. Just go with it. Nice try, but that is incorrect. Player three. In test date? Well done, yes. Okay. Player three, it's your turn. World Cities. For 100, please. Krung Tep, the Thai name for this largest city in Thailand, means City of Angels. What is Bangkok? Player one. You got it. Player one, what'll it be? When Pizarro founded this Peruvian capital city in 1535, he called it the City of Kings, not the City of Beans. What is Lima? Player one? Definitely. Named for a U.S. president, it's Liberia's most populous city. What is Monrovia? Player one. That's right. It's the capital of Brazil. What is uh, Brasilia? Player one. Yes. Oh, this Indian city's writer's building on Dalhousie Square once housed the British East India Company's clerks. What is Calcutta? Player one. Yes, indeed. The Cubs' first black player, he was also the first National Leaguer to be named MVP two years in a row. Who is Ernie Pyle? Player one. No? Who is Ernie Banks? Let's go with it. Oh, regrettably, no. I have no idea. Player three. Ernie Banks, I was thinking that. Right you are. <clears throat> Should have trusted my first gut instinct. If you would, player three. Murder, she wrote. For 100. This writer of murder mysteries caused a mystery herself by vanishing for 10 days in 1926. Who's Agatha Christie? Player one. Yes. Player one, your turn. A mind for murder and a taste for death are works by this author, whose first names are Phyllis Dorothy. Player one. James. That's right. And this little Lillian Hellman play 
Regina withholds Horace's medicine and coldly watches him die. What is Little Foxes? Player one. That's it. This female private investigator investigates murder and mayhem in books by Sarah Paretsky. Who is B.I. Warshawski? Player one. Right you are. This author is famous for creating Frankenstein. Who is Mary Shelley? Player one. Well done, yes. Killed by Japanese machine gun fire, this reporter won a Pulitzer for his wartime reporting. Player three. E.T. Pyle. Yes, indeed. Player three, it's your turn. Music for 100. African slaves are credited with bringing this stringed instrument heard here to the New World. What is a banjo? Player one. Right you are. Your choice, player one. Carol King wrote, You've Got a Friend, and this man, her friend, sang it and made it a number one hit. Who is James Taylor? Player one. You're correct. Answer, The Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager. I'll go all in. Up to 400,000 fans attended this August 1969 folk rock festival on Max Yasger's farm near Bethel, New York. What is Woodstock? Player one. You're a gambler, player one, but you're right. Way to go. First name of Chalice Ma. What is Yo-Yo? Player one. You got it. Heard here on the piano, this amazing song is also the title of a 1972 Aretha Franklin gospel album. What is Amazing Grace? Player one. Right you are. Pressing your hands palm to palm is an example of this form of exercise in which there's no movement. Player three. Isometrix. Yes. And the final answer of the round. In a proverb, it's no excuse for breaking the law. Player three. Ignorance of the law. You got it. Let's take a look and see how everyone's doing after the Jeopardy round. You're building up a huge lead, player one. You're not far off the pace, player three. Player two, you're in last place, but you do get to start things off first in Double Jeopardy. Let's move on to Double Jeopardy. There are two daily doubles awaiting you on this board. Let's get started. Let's see if you like these categories in the Double Jeopardy round. Bond, James Bond. Television actors, 
religion, something's fishy, sports, and our last category, hoods. It's your turn, player two. Sports. For 200, please, Alex. On April 13, 1997, this 21-year-old golfer became the youngest to win the Masters. Who's Tiger Woods? Player one. That's it. Player one, your turn. After winning five NBA championships, the Lakers moved to Los Angeles in 1960 from this Minnesota city. Player one. What is Minneapolis? Yes. Gordy Howe's 1,687 games with this Detroit team is the most by a player on one team in the National Hockey League. Who are the Red Wings? Player one. Yes, indeed. The Johnny Petraglia Open and the AMF Dick Weber Classic have been major tournaments in this sport. Player three. Ten pin bowling? Yes. If you would, player three. Television actors for 200. He played J.R. Ewing. Who's Larry Hagman? Player one. Definitely. Your choice, player one. She was Gidget. Who is Sally Field? Player one. Exactly. He played Archie Bunker. Who is Carol O'Connor? Player one. Definitely. This British comedy troupe's flying circus landed on American TV in 1974. Uh, what is Monty Python? Player one. You're correct. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager. I'll do 7,500. <clears throat> or 8,500. He okay. was Joe Friday. Sergeant Joe Friday. Um, Player one. Who was Jack Webb? Yes, indeed. All right, I'm glad I went to the extra thousand. This Winter Olympic sport is contested in two man and four man events. What is bobsledding? Player one. Right you are. All right. I was worried I wasn't right there at first. Um, let's take Bond James Bond 200. Asked to play Bond in 1986, he couldn't play the role until 1995's GoldenEye. Who's Pierce Brosnan? Player one. Well done, yes. Lois Maxwell played this role, M. Secretary, in 14 films, but her total time on screen was less than an hour. Player two. Miss Moneypenny. Definitely. Your choice, player two. Religion? For 200, Alex. Prepared by Maimonides, the 13 Articles of Faith is a summary of the basic tenets of this religion. Anybody? 
Player two. Judaism. Exactly. Religion? For 400, Alex. How low can you go? This place, bordering hell and Catholic theology, is now used to mean an intermediate state. Player three? Limbo. That's right. Okay, player three. Something's fishy? For 200, Alex. These VIPs like small ponds. What are big fish? Player one. Right you are. Player one. Someone removed from his usual environment who may long to return there. What is a fish out of water? Player one. Well done, yes. It's a place without privacy. What is a fish tank? Player one. Or a fish bowl. That's it. It is a fish bowl, all right. It's the process of reeling in praise for yourself. What is fishing for compliments? Player one. Exactly. It means to do one thing or another, but stop stalling. Player two. Fish or cut bait? Well done, yes. It's your turn, player two. Hoods. For 200, please. This little girl remarked on her grandmother's tooth size. Who is Little Red Riding Hood? Player one. You got it. Player one, what'll it be? The English name of this hooded snake is from Portuguese for snake with a hood. What's a cobra? What are cobras? Player one. Exactly. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager. Uh, 20,200. He stole from the rich and gave to the poor. Who is Robin Hood? Player one. That's right. It's the British term for the hood of a car. Hopefully there are no bees in it. What is a bonnet? Player one. Yes. Hoodman Blind is another name for this game. What is Blind Man's Bluff? Player one. You're correct. Actor Richard Keel chewed up the scenery as this villain in two Bond films. Player two. Jaws. Yes. Your choice, player two. Bond, James Bond, for 800. David Niven played James Bond in this 1967 spoof. Player two? You're correct. Bond, James Bond. For 1,000, Alex. 
1979, this Bond film featured a stolen space shuttle two years before the launch of Columbia. Player three. Yes. Player three, what will it be? Religion. Four, six hundred. There is a god of snowshoes. It's O, the son of this Norse thunder god's wife, Sith. Player one. Who is Thor? You're correct. Player one. Andrea del Sarto's 1527 version of this biblical banquet is similar to that of Leonardo, a man he admired. Uh, what is the Last Supper? Player one. Exactly. And now to finish off the round. The informal name of the Religious Society of Friends, which has Orthodox and Conservative sects. Player two? The Quakers. <clears throat> right you are. That brings us to the end of the Double Jeopardy round. So let's take a quick look at the scores. Player one, you've got the lead going into Final Jeopardy. You're still in the thick of it, player three. You'll get them next round, player two. Or will you? <laughs> All right, now it's time for Final Jeopardy. I'll show you the category and give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Here's the Final Jeopardy category. Mm -hmm. 20th century Republicans. Well, then again, I might know this. Player two, your wager, please. Might have a little bit of an idea, so. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player one, please make your wager. All right, I'll do it. I'll do 41,800. Player two. Player three. He was the first incumbent vice president to be elected president since 1836. Player one. Well, how did everyone manage with that clue? Player two, your question. That's it. Right, well done. And your wager was? Player three, your question. Sorry, that's wrong. How much did it cost you? Player one, your question. That's right. And your wager was? Signed up with $90,000. I'll see you all for another game. And that's all for the Tournament of Champions game. Let's see how everyone did. Congratulations to our winner, player one. See you again on our next game of Jeopardy. Bye, everybody. <laughs>